Micah chapter 7, verse 10, and it reads, Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her. With sadness of thee, where is the Lord thy power? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now, now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the street. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, next double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone, and one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God so people here for. But just, just something quick. I'm sitting here watching the game. And no matter what you're watching, it's going to always be a commercial, you know what I'm saying, showing a woman being smarter than the Israelite man. That, that B dub, you know what I'm saying? Eve, they always, look, look, since, since I came out of the womb, you see, it's the first time I can even see myself watching TV and watching commercials. Every show, every commercial is the is the is the so-called black woman. You know what I'm saying? The, degrading the hell out of the so-called black man. Sleazy, every TV show, every commercial that I've been watching since I've been watching this Purdue game, you know what I'm saying, was about pretty much um degrading, you know what I'm saying, the so-called black man. You see? Every, every last one of them. Made him look stupid as hell and made the woman look smart as hell. Well, that's contrary. That's contrary. She the stupid one. But that's Sleazy E's narrative, though. But the scripture say, look, look, our enemy. Yeah, the Israelite woman, they're our enemies, man. All right? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian women. They're our enemies, brothers. All right? Now, you got the whole for elect lady scattered, you know what I'm saying, everywhere. Not being seen, not being heard, which is a good thing. And she knows her role. Now, she knows she's not the head of the household. But, but, but I've been watching a little bit of this game, watch some videos, been watching a little bit of the game. And every um, commercial that comes on is depicting the so-called black man as dumb and retarded and slow as hell. And, and, and always a woman got to come to the damn rescue, right? Because she's so intelligent, right? Micah chapter 7, verse 10. That she, and she's the main one destroying the whole damn neighborhood, all right? The Israelite woman destroys neighborhoods. She don't uplift neighborhoods. Look at the condition of the neighborhoods ever since Sleazy E, you know what I'm saying, put her into power. You see? Made her head of the household, which the Lord said he was going to create a new thing in her. This is a new thing. Women running the household, which they, they mind ain't equipped to handle all that. You see? They, they bug the hell out. You see, you see what the household looks like when a woman is the head of it? Now, you got exceptions to the rules, of course, because I came from a single parent household. But I would have been better off if my dad would have been there. You see, I would have learned how to drive. I would have learned how to talk to women. I had to learn how to talk to women for my cousins and them. And just throwing myself out there, you no know saying. But if I had my dad around, I would know how to uh, not be emotional. I would know how to, you no know saying, act like a man. But Michael chapter seven. I don't mean to keep rent, but you, every commercial, man, still to this day, we see it there. We're not ignorant of Satan devices. You see, and the word Satan means adversary. Every commercial that I've been watching, I've been watching this game probably for like 15 minutes. And every commercial that comes on is depicting the so-called black man is stupid. He don't he don't know. He can't remember nothing. He can't even open a damn door to the car without the woman coming out saying, oh, this, this is how you do it. He can't wash the damn dishes without her saying, oh, yeah, this is how you do it. You see, he can't change a pepper. He can't do nothing. Well, that's contrary, man. But once again, Micah chapter 7, verse 10, that she that is my enemy, the Israelite woman, shall see it. She's going to see Sleazy E going down, and she's going to see what, what the scripture say. I will make a man, an Israelite man, an elect man of the nation of Israel more precious than fine gold. All right? And a man is going to be a hiding place from the destruction that's going to befall America, man. This is how the narrative is going to go down, right? But she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, right? Because she ain't shamefaced right about now. The majority of our women, they're not shamefaced right about now. They're proud as hell. They look down on every Israelite man. And, and, you, and, you, and them whores know that we're in captivity. You see? But they try to, um, what's, what's the word? They try to compare us to sleazy, to the so-called white man. When this is his kingdom, you Israelite women forgot that, that this is the so-called white man's heaven and our hell. Of course, we're not going to have the fancy car like he got the house, the clothes, the money. But y'all so damn stupid and blinded by his nonsense, by his TV, that you can't even, but you're smart and all right. You can't even understand that, that we're in his, his heaven right about now. But, but when tables and um, the shoe is on the other foot, wa watch how we stunt. When Lord Yahweh shall come, who you eagerly call Jesus come, watch how the Israelite man stunt, man. All right? 
And we're going to rule the earth once again in righteousness up under Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the 12, and the men all down, man. All right? We're going to show you how to rule a kingdom in righteousness, man. And the woman going to take that back seat again. All right? All right? Ain't no such thing as equality, man. But y'all were just watching them, watching them commercials. Every commercial depicted a woman, you know what I'm saying? Mainly an Israelite woman as a smart one. And these other heathen, you know what I'm saying? Women too. But mainly that Israelite woman. Pretty much every commercial shows her to being the smart one. She's the one that take care of the kids. You know what I'm saying? The man don't know what the hell to do. The kids running wild when the man is in the house. But then as soon as mama comes, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's in order. But that's contrary, man. All right? Shame gonna cover her soon. Come, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? They don't really believe in Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Let, let them not have rent money. Let them not have money to pay the light bill. Money to put food on the table. Where's your God now? Where's your God now? And the Lord heard every word, man. All that murmuring, man. Mine eyes shall behold her. We're gonna see her in that day. Lord, when are we of that number? Now shall she be trodden down. She's gonna get stumped out as the Maya of the street, man. These Israelite women are going to be getting stumped the hell out over here in Babylon soon coming. And it's, it's going to be beautiful, man, because y'all deserve it, man. Pro promote nothing but whoredom, you know what I'm saying? But oh, yeah, t t look at a commercial, you know what I'm saying? She's, she's the beloved, you know what I'm saying? She's, she's you know, she, she's up there. You see? Let's get this right quick, man. I got a couple of scriptures, and this ain't even that long, man. I just want to do a little rant. Just want to do a little spiritual rant right quick, and then add some scriptures with it. It's, it's, it's just nonsense, man. But when we see the narrative, man, Sleazy going to do what the hell he got to do. But watch what the Lord do. Watch what the Lord do. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. Because anyway, Job 9, 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So, so of course, he's going to make the Israelite man look like he's dumb, he's stupid, he's, he's nothing but a low life. You see, a robber, a cheapskate, a con artist, why, why he's fucking Superman. You see, he, he's here to save the day and all this other nonsense. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Sleazy, they come out of us, man. That's the children that the scripture is talking about. Look, they oppressing the hell out of the Israelite man. You see? The woman really ain't going through nothing, man. All right? But but they're about to. They look sleazy. He gave them all the damn corporate jobs. They, look, look, they bringing all the damn money to the house. That's why they're so damn proud. But that Israelite woman that has a man, she's supposed to take that money that sleazy is giving her, which is really your how about Shimei Abishai giving her, bring it home and give it to the man. That's your husband's money. All right? Whatever yours is his. Whatever is his is his and whatever is yours is his too. All right? He's the head of the household. I'm going to bring that scripture out too. Look, look. look. Uh, uh, oh, we know we're going to get a whole lot of comments. Uh, why the woman? Why the woman? You see what the hell is going on. You see? Every damn commercial, man, showing the so-called black man, mainly the um the Latino and Native American Indian man here, here and there, especially on like them different sitcoms and all that. Show the Latino man being stupid. You see? The woman is the more serious one. The Latino man, he's the jokester. You know what I'm saying? And they don't really show too many um native um little sitcoms and all that. They on the reservations catching hell. The Lord's about to turn everything upside down, man. But once again, she that is my enemy shall see it. She gonna see the Israelite man going up because we ain't got nowhere else to go. We on the damn bottom of society. This is the lowest that we can get. We ain't got nowhere else to go but up. Like the elder um, Aura Ram, you know what I'm saying, from Alabama, did a, um, a lesson. Um, embrace being poor. Because embrace this right now. Because this is who the Lord is coming back for. The poor, the meek, the, the Israelites that don't have no help. That's who the Lord is coming back for. The Lord ain't coming back for the rich. You see? He coming back for the poor, rich in faith, man. All right? Our faith is what keeps us going, man. All right? Even, even though we're in a society, you know what I'm saying, that looks down on us. Everybody looks down on the Israelite man. And I've been dealing with this shit all my damn life, starting off with the head apostles slash elder bishops, the great minister, and the men on down, man. We, we've been dealing with people, looking at the, every nation on the face of the earth, even our own women, man, looking down on us our whole entire life, man. You see? And the only time they really dealt with you, you know what I'm saying, if they thought you was cute or they thought they could benefit, you know what I'm saying, from you some kind of way. And then leave you and go to the next time, Dick, Harry, Larry, Curly, or Mo, and that ain't which Laquisha, Teresha, Aisha, Denisha, and all this other nonsense. Once again, Isaiah 3 and 12, as for my people, the Hebrew Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, children are their oppressors, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, they're our oppressors, right? And women rule over them, man. Now look at the state of the Israelite man and woman. Just look at them, Israel. You see? You got, you got our people walking around like ain't shit going on. Come on, man. Our people are totally out of the number of thugs, you know what I'm saying? Number of gangbangers, number of whores and thought and Instagram, gram tweakers and all that. What, what, what do they call it? Only fans, only whores, you know what I'm saying? 
That, that's all because a woman is ruling over the man right about now. She's the head of the household. This is where all this is stemming from. You see? And she, and she um, um, pretty much, you know what I'm saying, devoured that, that philosophy. You see? The knowledge of wickedness still to this day, man. You see? And then she reaping the benefits, you know what I'm saying, of listening to the serpent, you know what I'm saying, which was a cunning, slick type dude in the garden. She reaping all the benefits right now. But it's, it's going to be short-lived, though. Short-lived, man. It, look, enjoy it, man. Enjoy living in your big-ass house, you know what I'm saying, four, five-bedroom house, paying like 20 damn dollars a month. And don't say it ain't so, because I know women that fucking got houses like that. They only paying like $19 a damn month, and they get the damn $19 of shit. I knew a girl, she had a three-bedroom apartment. She was only paying 15 damn dollars a month, so don't tell me it ain't so. And she she still got kicked the hell out to look, look so much for the woman knowing how to rule a damn household, right? Then had number thugs, drug dealers, weed smoke, every damn thing else in the house, man. Crack coke, you name it, man. All right? But that's the Israelite woman right there. And Sleazy, he don't give a damn if the whole household is in um in shambles. He don't give a damn as long as the Israelite man is down on the bottom. That's all he care about. And women rule over them, man. You see? So the woman get, gets to um, pretty much um, pick, you know what I'm saying, which um, linky she sleeps with. You see, all they do is sleep around. Got so many damn bodies, you know what I'm saying? They celebrate whores over here, man. But men, you know what I'm saying, is working, taking care of their sons, taking care of their daughters. Oh, yeah, they, they most definitely not going. This, this is sleazy ease where, of course, they're not going to, you know what I'm saying, show that in a good light. All these Israelite brothers, you know what I'm saying, to take care of their sons and their daughters. We love our babies, but oh, yeah, everybody's a damn dad beat, though, right? Everybody's a damn dad beat, right? That's the narrative that he painting, you know what I'm saying? And then, and then and, um, the Israelite women, you know what I'm saying? Showing off don't help out. None. None. Now, you got a couple of Israelite women standing up for the cause, doing their little podcast or whatever, whatever. But the damage is done. The Lord only looking for that hopeful elect lady any damn way. Other than that, the rest of you bitches going to fucking be destroyed over here, man. And that's a beautiful thing, man. Because we the Israelite men, we the one got the seed. You see, we can put our seed in any. That's to you Israelite women. Y'all y'all fail to realize we don't fucking need y'all. All right? For nothing. We got the seed. You know what I'm saying? We can put our seed in a heathen woman and bring back the children of Israel. All 12 tribes. We don't need y'all, man. Why you think you got a um, big movement right about now called the Passport Bros? Because they tired of these whores, man. All right? Over here in Babylon, man. Everybody naked as hell. Oh, yeah, the woman's the smartest person on the face of the earth. And look, she's so smart, you know, since she walks outside the house with her whole ass out and her titties out and her camel toe out. But, oh, yeah, she's the smartest and the man's the stupidest, right? Come on, man. And women rule over them. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err. Are you not hearing that? But, oh, yeah, on Sleazy's commercials and on his TV shows and on his sitcom, he make the Israelite man look like he did, he did fucking stupid one. Look, make it look like he's the one that can't control a household, can't lead, lead a household. The scriptures say, oh, my people, they which lead thee, a.k.a. that woman, that Israelite woman, mainly that Eve. Because you know I'm saying um, the Latinos and the Native American Indian women, they fall out to Eve. She's the biggest whore, you know what I'm saying, on the face of the earth. You know what I'm saying? She didn't surpass the so-called um the, the, the Edomite woman. Not so-called. They, the Israelite women didn't pass the Edomite woman. You see? For, and then, then she just took the crown, you know what I'm saying, the trophy of being the biggest whore. And the scriptures say, they that lead thee, call thee to air. Look at the state of the hood. You see? The Israelite women been running it, you know what I'm saying, since the damn 60s and the 70s. So who the, who the hell fault is it? You see, kick the man out. Oh, yeah, down, down, Sleazy is not going to show that on TV. That it's the damn Israelite woman, I'm saying, fucking, what is it, 80% divorce rate? She always um, declared the divorce, yo. Everything could be going good. Everything. She, she says she don't want a, um, a man, you know what I'm saying, that fears the Lord. She don't want a worker, man. She want a criminal. She want a thug, you know what I'm saying? She want a, um, a fucking swindler, you know? That, that's what she want. Look at the state of our people, man. Ever since they put the Israelite woman, the head of the household, man. This dude could be dumb as shit, you know what I'm saying, walking around with his pants hanging off his ass. But if he cute, you know what I'm saying, he got long hair, open the damn dough for him, right? <laughs> Come on, man. And that's how you know he's sitting on the damn couch drinking a damn 40, you know what I'm saying? And she mad as hell going to damn work while he just laying around. That's the men that they pick, all right? And destroy the way of thy past, man, all right? But we're going to get the order of things, how things are going to go right back to being, all right? This is the true order of things, whether you like it or not, man. I was just sitting here watching the game. I, I really want you watching the game. You just, you just got it on. You know what I'm saying? You're just thinking about other lessons that can you do. You know what I'm saying? And I was just seeing that, and the Lord was like, look at this shit. My whole life, all I've been seeing is, look, look, look shit, you check out what is it, um, good times, you know what I'm saying? Well, well James, you know what I'm saying, was kind of hardcore. You know what I'm saying? But everybody else was on the Florida was a knowledgeable one. You see? She, she couldn't do no wrong. Hell, what is it? Um, That's my mama. Every, every Jake, you know what I'm saying, was a clown. You know what I'm saying? Was a jokester and all that, right? What is it? Um, 
I can't even think. The shit with Roger and rerun and all that. Everybody was stupid, but but not the woman though. And you always had a smart ass, rebellious ass daughter on the TV running her damn mouth, and they made that seem cool. All of it's gonna burn soon, come right. All this wickedness is gonna burn soon, come. It's, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing. Last scripture, man. First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse three. But I will have you know that the head of every man, Israelite man, Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian man, is Yahweh Shai, who they even call Jesus. And the head of the woman, the Israelite woman, Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian woman, your head is the man. No matter what sleazy, no matter what Esau, Edom, no matter what the so-called white man, the narrative that he paint, your head is gonna always be the Israelite man. And just remember, we don't need you. you know what I'm saying we can bring. Back, you no know saying the nation, you no know saying through, you no know saying these other heathen women. You can believe that we carry the seed. Now the woman, she has an important role. We ain't taking away from that. But every commercial you see, it's always the damn woman. She's a smart one. You see, she's the enlightened one. You see, she she's corporate America. And yo, oh yeah, the man. You know I'm saying he just a damn dumpster diver. You know I'm saying he just, he just riding on the back of the damn dumpster um truck all damn day doing nothing, making little wages. Oh shit, and, and she she's the fucking um what they call it? the provider. Just like that picture, you know what I'm saying, of ASAP Rocky and Rihanna made him look like the bitch, you know what I'm saying, and made her look like the man. The Lord's getting ready to do away with all that, man. It's going to be beautiful, man. And the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Yahweh Shai is the most high Yahweh, man. So I'm just sitting here, you know what I'm saying, she is my enemy, going to sit like, I do got another scripture. I do that. Uh, the Lord going to make a man more precious than fine gold, man. It's like, man, an elect, it's like, man, it's going to be more precious than fine gold, man. It's going to be beautiful. Bear with me. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 12, and I will make a man, an Israelite man, an elect of the nation of Israel, man, Lord willing, we of that number, starting off with the head apostles, slash elder bishop, the great millstone, Lord willing, we of that number, the Lord's going to show you how he get down, you see, sleazy uplifted the damn women, I'm saying that good for nothing damn women, you see, got a, on every damn magazine, on every damn TV show, she's got a whole ass out, you see, when, when another woman don't supposed to be, see the nakedness of another woman. You say, look not on another one's nakedness. Just roughly paraphrase them. Brothers can throw that in the comment board. But it's almost over for you women, man. You had your fun, man. Now, now it's over. And y'all actually call that fun. Walk around naked as hell. Fucking Tom, Dick, Harry, Larry, Curly, Mo. Y'all call that fun. And then you wonder why your damn box stink. You see? You wonder why everything is sagging. All that damn cellulite all over your ass. You see? You, you threw out here, man. And you, you ain't seen through yet. She that is my enemy shall see it. You're going to be trotting down like some shit soon come. When you look up the definition for the word Meyer, it means shit doo-doo, okay? Isaiah 13 and 12. And I, I will make a man. It's the Heavenly Father speaking, right? The Most High Yahweh. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, all right? Now, Sleazy E, he made an Israelite woman. You know what I'm saying? He ain't even thinking about these other heathen women. He raised up that Israelite woman. You see? He raised up that Israelite woman over, over his damn woman, you see? And made her more precious. No, no matter how big you is, you know what I'm saying? You, you still got options. You still can run your damn mouth and tell a man, you know what I'm saying? I don't need you. I can do bad all on my own, you know what I'm saying? Get these damn big blocks, you know what I'm saying? These damn center blocks, you know what I'm saying? Corporate jobs and all that, man. So everybody's looking down on the Israelite man. But but you watch him come running, Israelite man. Don't, don't stress it. Isaiah 4 and 1, remember, um, uh, seven women, you know what I'm saying, which is the number seven means completion, a complete number of women going to grab hold to one elect man of the nation of Israel. Look, look, we days, seconds, hours, weeks, from months from this happening, man. The whole for year, remember, 2023, the whole for year, while all these prophecies, Lord willing, were going to come to pass, man. You know what that entails in? And a whole lot of you women going to get fucking rejected, whether you got your head covered or not, man, all right? Whether you got your hair wrapped or not, you still got that feminist shit in your damn head. And it's going to go down. And it goes down when this place goes down. Isaiah 13 and 12, I will make a man more precious than fine gold. You see, fine gold, even a man, an Israelite man, an elect Israelite man, than the, than the golden wedge of Ophir, which is the best kind of gold out there, man. Watch us shine. Watch us shine, yo. Watch him come freaking running, you know what I'm saying, like the Beatles, you know what I'm saying, and like the women was going crazy over Michael Jackson. Watch him come, yo, and watch us give him this fucking stiff arm. You see, you, you watch us give him this stiff arm, Lord willing, we of that number, man, and we ain't forgetting nothing, man, all right? You Israelite women that left your husband, you Israelite women that left your husbands, you know what I'm saying, whether he was in the truth, whether he won't in the truth, yo ass grass, man, all right? Just riding a damn cock carousel, you're going to see, you're going to see. 
But I just wanted to bring out them. I was looking at all them damn commercials, and every commercial was degrading the Israelite man, man, the so-called black man. He couldn't do nothing right. He couldn't even open a damn can of damn jar of damn pickles without the damn woman coming over there, open the damn jar of damn pickles, making him look stupid. He couldn't change a pamper. He couldn't wash dishes. He couldn't cut grass. The woman had to come out there and save him from everything that a woman don't even know how to do. You see? Now, you got some women that know how to get down, but that ain't the subject. The, the narrative, we see the narrative, sleazy E, and you and your narrative, you know what I'm saying, and your road dog, sleazy E, you see, going down, Ca call the damn police on the Israelite, man, he ain't did shit to you, you come on, man, we grew up with Eve, man, we, come on, man, grew up in a household full of Eves, man, know how they do, man ain't did shit, here come the damn police, he did this and the third, that's ain't no, the man going to damn jail, and the woman know this man ain't did shit, you trifling ass bitches, y'all going down, man, shallow one.